Just got off my first shift, starting the second shift, and I'm going to my local thrift stores. So let's see what we can find today. I was improvising. Does it work? That's the big question. You want to make sure you always bring batteries with you to test things. This is a Polaroid computer monitor. It looks like it's a computer monitor slash TV. About 24 bucks for it. And they got these speakers here that went to that uh, gramophone. Yeah, the clarinet gramophone. They're still here. tripod six bucks this has been here for two weeks now and it's a air filter or air vent machine they want fifty five dollars for that so i stopped over at my local salvation army and there wasn't really much there their electronics are 
not the best. So I went ahead and picked out a couple shirts. I do sell shirts. Um, we sell shirts pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and share those with you now. So I picked up this Bob Marley shirt. It was $1.99. It was 50% off. So it came out to a buck. No taxes. So that's really nice. Picked up this Baddest Witch Salem Mass shirt. Um, we're in Massachusetts, and Salem's not that far from us, so this would sell fairly easily. Uh, it was $1.99, half off, got it for a buck. Now, this is a nice one. Picked up this Nike shirt. It was not 50% off, paid full price. It was a whopping $1.99, you guys. Really nice and clean. Boston Red Sox shirts. Also, 50% off, so got it for a dollar. I think that's a one right there. Looks like they added it in. Now, I picked up this vintage uh, Gators shirt, Gators t-shirt. It was full price, $1.99. This is a neat one. Warthogs, 99 cents. That's crazy. I picked up this sweater for USS Yorktown. I really like selling military stuff, uh, Navy, Air Force, um, Marine shirts. And look, it was $4.99, so 50% off. Got it for $2.50. And here's a United States Coast Guard t-shirt. That'll be a nice return on that shirt as well. And that's all I picked up, you guys. There was not really that much at the Salvation Army. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can get tomorrow. Some, sometimes it's good to use these flat rate envelopes. You know, you can save a lot of money in shipping. Um, but not to ship something like this, you guys. I don't understand why anybody would do this. Seller sent me this item just like this in a flat rate envelope. It got banged up pretty badly, and as you can see now, it doesn't even close correctly, so have to return it. 